morning. I hope everyone is doing amazing out there. Um, I wanted to come on here and address a lot of things that I've been seeing this past week. It has been a lot of craziness. So I want to come on here um, and first of all, talk about one main thing that I've been seeing all over is the repost of a old screenshot from a splash page um, of a website that I never started. A splash page meaning it is a coming soon page for something. Um, in 2004, yes, 2004 and 2006, um, I'm nervous laughing because those were horrible fucking times for me. And being very young and stupid, I took some very graphic photos of myself doing self mutilation and cutting myself. Um, now at 34, they are being posted all over the internet for people to um, judge. But the main concern here is a screenshot. And past past me, we can address the photos um, in a minute. I want, I want to talk about something and a very dumb decision I made when I was very young. So I created a URL called lipsticknazi.com. Now back then in the early 2000s, um, it was a slang term, um, like on the show Seinfeld, some a soup Nazi if you were a crazy cook. Um, I used to work at the mat counter. If you were someone that would follow customers around in the store, you were called a door Nazi. Um, the term is wrong. It's derogatory. It's vile. It's disgusting. And I should have never used it. No excuses ever. But I want to let you know the context of that. And it was a slang term that I used that lipstick Nazi was like people who were obsessed with makeup. Um, horrible decision. It was very wrong of me. Um, and for anyone who has seen that, I am deeply Sorry, I'm disgusted with myself, and I should have never used that word ever. So there was a splash page for a website that never happened. Um, it was a URL for my live journal. Now, if you're uh, older, uh, you know what live journal was. It was a site where you would post pictures of yourself or little captions and memes. Um, Tumblr really is what it was, but live journal was the early stages of what social media would become. Um, and it was very narcissistic and I was going to just have the, um, website just be a bunch of fucking crazy pictures of me. Um, so the term lipstick Nazi, it's disgusting. And I just want people to know looking at me, um, it's wrong and I should have never used it. But for anyone to try to create a smear campaign saying that that was a makeup brand is completely false. Um, and I get what, you know, a few of you out there are trying to do, but no, I never created a makeup company. Obviously there was no products. There was literally nothing but a dumb splash page, which I will forever be sorry for creating. Now, when I launched that uh, single page that same week, it really did not sit well with me even back then. Um, I dissolved the site. I never launched it and it was literally nothing. Um, I think what is very concerning um, is people resharing the image. I know a lot of you have blurred it out. Um, I know a lot of you have seen a blurred out version. Thank you, Jesus Lord. Um, but me bleeding and cutting with a razor, um, someone who has suffered with self-harm and issues like that for a very long time, um, it's been horrible. It's been horrible to wake up every morning, click um, an app and turn on my phone and see pictures of me cutting. It's been very triggering awful. Um, I get that it came from a very uh, shocking place for people to see that photo with the text. Um, it's horrible. Uh, I regret it all. But um, if you are watching this or anyone or anyone who sees this later, please stop resharing that image. It is so awful for me to replay that over and over and over. Context of me in that photo sitting down on that chair with the razor. I was 17, 18, old. Yeah, I think freshly turned 18. I had just moved to LA um, and I met someone who had a little art museum and I thought it was so cool and I wanted to be a part of the, the art world. Um, and she was a photographer and she took some very graphic photos of me doing self-mutilation. Um, she didn't tell me to stop. She, I'm not saying she encouraged it, but she, it, it was, you know, don't cut too deep. And we, we did it and we did a photo shoot. Um, and it's, it's haunting. It's horrible. It's disgusting. So, um, if you're sharing it, please stop. I just want to say to anyone watching this that I will always forever be sorry for all the dumb shit that I've said in my past, all the horrible things I've done, and all the stupid actions and decisions back then. They're uncalled for, um, and I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry to anyone who had to see those images, those words. Um, it's completely wrong. Um, I do want to say that I am very proud that Jeffree Star right now owns a very successive, inclusive makeup brand that caters to all races, genders, sexes, and anyone in between. That's what I'm proud of. And I understand that if you are someone that hasn't seen things from my past, it can be very shocking. It's horrible. I fucking hate it myself. Um, but just know I'm not going to let that deter my goal and why I was put on this earth. Um, I understand that my past is fucking awful, but Jeffree Star right now is all about change. And um, that's what I'll forever be doing. Okay, now listen. There's one other big elephant in the room. The smear campaign and a few old friends who were never my friends, P.S. Um, coming out of the woodwork and making up a bunch of crazy lies. Now listen, you guys, I know a lot of bullshit i've been in a lot of drama after last year i uploaded a video called never doing this again um i'm not gonna entertain people that want clout and attention and followers um when i leave on a really note with someone and our last texts are all positive and great and then months later they make up a bunch of shit about me on camera mm, no 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 we're not gonna entertain it we're not gonna feed into the Activity, and I'm not going to give an ounce of fucks to these people who are literally making up shit out of thin air. Now the old Jeffrey would pull up all the receipts, sit down, rebunk every little thing. Girl, this is 2016, Kat Von D crossing my face out. Everyone believed it for two days, and as I sat there being completely mentally degraded, um, and then I came back with like, hey, it's the truth. I think maybe these people want that reaction. I think they maybe want attention. I don't know the root, um, but I know that I was a very good person to these people. We were acquaintances. We were not friends. Um, and what is being said is just so dumb, I I'm not going to entertain it. So a few checklist things. No, I don't should talk my real friends ever. Sorry. I know it sounds fun and exciting. Me and Trisha Paytas are like this. I know you guys are trying to f feed into her negativities. It's not going to work. I know everyone wants a, bl a bloodbath. Um... It's not real. Me and Trisha had a crazy time in Vegas. We're really good friends and um, I'm bored. I get we're in the age where people love to sensationalize drama. I used to be a part of it, but we're gonna nip it in the butt and we're not gonna play those games today. So anyone who's running their gums about me this week, whoever paid y'all in a group to do that one after another, <sighs> I hope it was worth it. I really do. Um, I'm going to continue to only show love on my platform and talk about what's important. So Jeffree Star drama, no bitch, not in 2020. We have already all, as a culture, as a society, as a planet, have had such a rough 2020, bitch, I'm not going to feed into any negativity. So whoever's watching this, I love you. Thank you for making it this far and have a beautiful day.